Spell asynchronous. Spell asynchronous. Will you shut Who is up, man? Listen, who? Oh my god, Ronnie. Truckers at school tell me, always in the barber shop. Ronnie ain't about this, Ronnie ain't about that. My boy Abidi, I'm freaking Lamron them. My boy been on probation since I don't know when. Y'all know we rolled Ronnie now. Shut the frick up. Y'all don't know. Shoot. We pull up, hop out with the cameras. <laughs> she tell me keep on filming. I got stamina. I bet this song got your wife dancing, huh? I really like the way she dance and keep it up. Shake some. We went to THSPA and ran it up. Would say the number, but I can't count that much. He dumb. Ronnie A, he strictly up about them bucks. Those other schools crying, we don't give a fuck. No chocolate. Ronnie, yeah, he's sturdy, he won't ever budge. That's my dog for him, I'm popping out with slugs. He foul. That's my dog for him, I'll even eat some slugs. He nasty. We had our problems, but we made it up. 2020, 2021 school year comes to an end. Students have voted for next year's student council members. Here's Skylar Wendell with more. Spell asynchronous. What? What's your opinion on vaping, Siler? It's bad, and you shouldn't do it. are some simple tips on how to take care of these cameras. Hey kids, don't forget your micro SD card at home. You should probably consider recycling more often. Ah, what a beautiful day to catch some rays. I know, I shouldn't be in the classroom with the kids. Everyone thinks I'm retiring next year. Shh, don't tell anyone. But after all the awards we won, I'm cutting out at the end of this year. For the fifth straight year, Britwood High TV and Film won the THSPA Best TV Station Award. The football crew swept the live sports coverage with first and second. Chad Barker won for the Best Sports Package, Harrison McConnell for Best Sports Cast, and former interns Alex Wells, Jack Wilson, Cammie Roadman, as well as Zach Kammer took home first place honors for PSA. I'll tell you about some of the other awards we won a little later. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Stuart, another drink, please. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2021 14th Annual Madison Awards. My name is Chad Barker. We've got a great show lined up for y'all tonight. But first, let me introduce y'all to our hosts. WBHS9 head intern, Ben Mahaffey. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And WBHS9 intern, Stuart Beaton. Hello and welcome to the 2021 Madison Awards. I'm Ben Mahaffey. And I'm Stuart Beaton. We have a great show for you tonight. If you're not here joining us tonight, we hope you're joining us live. It's been really hard this year and it, I guess, 
The programmers made it look easy. And that's because of this year's interns. Let's take a minute to go look at them. We'll start off with the seniors. Colin, you want to stand up? Colin Butterscotch Kadoof. He's done a fantastic job this on, year. We're really proud of this guy. We oh, also want to take guy. a second to uh, acknowledge Robin Neiman. She couldn't be with us tonight due to the fact that she is currently competing in a cheer competition. It's not very classy of her, but we respect it, and we hope for the best. And now I believe Stuart is running up to the booth. Yeah, I'm up here. I'm up here. Looking for Noah True. Right over here. We call, him, we call him workers' comp around here because he's had six injuries this year, all this football unit. related. The build. The build on this guy. We'll also look at Will King over there. We call him Red Card because he's, I think, spent $800 at Chick-fil-A this semester. It's you not don't been mess good. with this guy. It's not been good. This guy's some mean business. Also, Braden, handyman with no filter, Thaney, done a great job this year. Really proud of you, Braden. Thanks, man. Future presidential candidate right here. And then our audio girl tonight, Eliza, expecting mother Lenny. She's not pregnant, I promise you. It's just, it's a, it's a thing. Just, <laughs> and then the man behind the camera up there, Keaton oh, middle part Hardwick. Don't look at his middle part, just trust me. Oh. If you win an award tonight, just please come quickly up to the lighted staircase, accept your award, then give a quick acceptance speech, then head out to the lobby where we have a uh, photo booth for you, grab a quick photo, and then come back and take your seat. And we're going to start it all off with our level ones. Hello, my name is Luke Ellinger, aka Spec Live underscore junior intern. Over here, we have the level... Level one's first period. Over here, level one's second period. And this is the banana beatdown. The match has begun. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, oh, this, is, this is dramatic. They're going bananas. Facial shots going on here. Coming in, final kill. First period comes out victorious. I found this extremely revolting. Commercials are actually the first project that Level 1s make. Yet somehow, they're the best. Here are your nominees. The nominees for Level 1 Commercial are Minute Maid, Kyle Jordan, Sydney Lloyd, Isabella Sapinski. Scam car, Jackson Gallardo. Hi there, are you looking to buy a used car? If you come down to C's car lot, I'll give you $5,000 off any car, just like this Honda pickup. This car has very low miles and starts up perfectly. Take a listen. If you still think this deal is too good to be true, listen to what some of our customers have to say about it. I got an amazing deal on my car. When can I have my money and go home? Never get a car here. It's a... Now, for a special TV offer, I'll give you an additional $2,000 off if you call this number in the next one hour. So just come on down. I'm 
make sure I get your money, I mean give you the best deal for your next car. Spirit Wardia, Owen Coulomb. Do ghosts come out and haunt you every Halloween season? Are you losing sleep because of the ghouls that lurk at night? Then try Spirit Wardia. Spirit Wardia is a certified prescription medicine that prevents ghosts from haunting you, allowing you to spend more time with family and get better sleep. It does not protect from vampires, mummies, or extraterrestrials. Ask your doctor about Spirit Wardia today. And the winner is... Spirit Wardia, Owen Coulomb. All right, hello. All right, it works. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Adcock. <laughs> and I'd also like to say thank you to Avery Allen. I don't know where he is in the crowd tonight, but he is the one who got me into the TV film program. So thank you to him for that. All right, thank you. Music videos are a tough video for new broadcasting students. But there's always some diamonds in the rough. Here's Here are your no nominees. The nominees for Best Level 1 Music Video are Down Under, Jackson Carpenter, Owen Coulomb, David Moonshower. Trailhead full of zombies. I met a strange lady, she made me nervous. She took me in and gave me breakfast. And she said, Do you come from a land down under? Irreplaceable, David Moonshower, Wyatt Rogers. in a lifetime, Will Abramson. And the winner is 
Irreplaceable by David Moonshower and Wyatt Rogers. Okay, so um, I'll make it short. The only people I'd like to thank are Kathleen Nance and Cade. Thank you. Um, this took a lot of inspiration from Griffin, who uh, left our group for a short film. So thank you, Griffin, and thank you, Dylan Rogers, for being in all our videos dressed up like a girl. So thank you. <laughs> Here to, here to present our seniors, Harrison McConnell and Oliver Brogdon. Harrison. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know they even made news packages this year. Harrison, you were in ALC when these were made. You didn't have to do me like that, man. Here are the nominees. The nominees for Best Level 1 News Package are Animal Shelter, Kyle Jordan, Isabella Sapinski. The intake is actually down this um, past six months at the shelter. It's down slightly from last year. We can't explain that. Uh, we're happy about it, and we're happy to maintain the adoption rate that we have. There hasn't been a change in the way the staff cares for the animals. They get the same love and care and have the same reactions uh, as they do they adapt. Uh, shelter animals adapt to a lot of things, and a mask is just another one of the things they have to deal with every day. When the first COVID shutdown happened in March, the shelter was closed to the public for about three to four weeks. During that time, they tried to get all the animals out to foster homes to cut down on the number of people who had to go into the building. Grassland Dance Academy, Lila Husband, Sydney Lloyd. Even during a pandemic, Grassland Dance Academy in Franklin offers lesson in ballet, tap, jazz, lyrical, and hip hop to ages three through 18. We've had to limit kids coming into the building, so we're not allowed to have as many kids in each class. The parents are not allowed to come into the building. Cleaning the studio has also been a high priority for Grassland Dance Academy. The cleaning part has just been a lot to keep track of and maintain. So these mats over here, if we use them, we wipe them down right away, all the doorknobs, you know, you name it, just to keep, keep it really healthy. Grassland Dance Academy has done an amazing job allowing these kids to do what they love while being in a healthy and safe environment. Lila Husband, WBHS 9 News. The Drowsy Chaperone, Kyle Jordan, Sydney Lloyd, Isabella Sapinski. So in the musical, there's these two characters who um, fall in love, yet they go through a little turmoil. And in that, we meet a host of funny, exciting, weird characters that bring this little love story to life. My favorite scene is when Aldolfo <laughs> tries to find the bride. I am Aldolfo. I love teaching. I love getting to see them outside of school. Um, and then I get to meet students who aren't in my class. So that's really fun. I'm very excited. We're definitely going to be ready. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and the winner is the drowsy chaperone, Isabella Zabinski, Kyle Jordan, and Sydney Lloyd. behind the scenes of them making the play. You guys want to say anything? No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. 
Level 1 PSAs are known for being cheesy and the same every year. Let's see if anyone stood out. The nominees for best level 1 PSA are Stretch and Flex, David Moonshower, Wyatt Rogers. Hey Bart, are you ready for your big game today? I know, Mom. I've been already playing for this game. Have you stretched for your big game yet? I already stretched, Mom. I don't need a stretch. I'm not 50. Bart going on the left side. And oh, oh my gosh. Silly kid. Man, his leg just Stretching off. prevents oh injury. Gosh. Stretch before you flex. Oh no, my son's hurt. Should have stretched. Texting. Sydney Lloyd. Tipping local musicians. Kyle Jordan, Isabella Sapinski. Tips are even more important with the pandemic. Us musicians don't get paid by the bars we play at. Hey everybody, us local musicians depend on your tip. Us local musicians depend on your tips. And your tip counts. Your tip counts. Your tips count. And the winner is tipping local musicians, Kyle Jordan and Isabella Sapinski. and I just like to thank Isabella for being such a great person to work with. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. You know, Harrison, we're somewhat of a legendary duo in this program. Mom and Tom Productions has had made some legendary videos, but we have never been brave enough to make a short film together. It's nothing we couldn't handle, right? Here are the nominees. The nominees for Best Level 1 Short Film are Bruin Bunch, James Gill, Griffin Goodman. One, two, three. <laughs> silence in this house. Why, I can't remember. We've been stuck up in this house for far too long. Them boys always cause a ruckus. I'll tell ya, if we ever have a global pandemic again, you can bet that Frank will be living in the guest house all by his lonesome. I love the man, but seriously, I've never met a bigger baby in my life. 
speaking of babies, could you imagine having kids in a time like this? Or don't even get me started. Well, we do live with three of them. Their names are Robbie, Frankie, and Mark. <laughs> I'll get that. Hello? Hello? Oh, honey, that's not the phone. That's a banana. Well, I'll be. The eviction. Brady Bell, Larson Schmidt. Conspiratorial Discoveries, Woe Abramson. I have to go now. Baseball practice starts soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. gonna do? I never thought he would start to catch on to us. Don't worry. I knew that someday would come to this. That's why I planned ahead. The writers are brainstorming what we're going to do. I'm thinking of capturing him and brainwashing. We'll set up a sting operation to capture him. The troubling part is, is figuring how to keep our ratings up. This will definitely become a PR nightmare. But everything will return in normal. And the winner is Conspiratorial Discoveries, Will Abrahamson. Uh, I'm incredibly honored to <clears throat> have this award. And uh, I'd like to thank my parents for letting me buy a computer. Uh, and a camera so that I could do all this stuff independently and I didn't have to rely and worry about, you know, like doing something wrong with the camera. So I really appreciate that. Uh, and I'd also, he told me not to say this, but uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Adcock because he did not get annoyed when I came in and loitered in his class period during fourth period. And also uh, thanks to uh, Coach Saunders for letting me leave during fourth period and go edit my film. So uh, that's it. Thank you. Mr. Adcock, Mr. Adcock, what what is that noise? Radcock, 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 Radcock. What is going on in here? Level two.
my face. Which one? Right here. Yeah, right here. Level two years where a lot of creative students start to thrive. Commercials are the category where this really shows. Here's the nominees. The nominees for best level two commercials are Mustang, Aaron Goldstein, Asher Posey. Risk and Hamilton, Grace Constantine. When it's family game night and your family wants to conquer the world, I take a risk. Fight the fight and win the war for your love, for your praise, and I'll love you till my dying days. When I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Da 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 Watch Hamilton the Musical on Disney Plus, rated PG-13. STX, Warren Kaufman, Davis Smith, Courtney Stanley. Wilson football, Kyler Green, Makai Payne. With only one Wilson football making factor in the world, this handcrafted football will fit any athlete's needs. Wilson makes more than 700,000 footballs a year and is suited for all perfect catches and touchdown dances. There are four panels on the football and one lace to keep it all together and ready for the D ball. So what are you waiting for? Get a Wilson football today. And the winner is STX, Warren Kaufman, Davis Smith, and Courtney Stanley. Good evening, my name is Warren Kaufman. Um, first off, I'd like to thank the judges for giving me this award. Uh, we all worked very hard on this commercial. Uh, secondly, we'd like to thank those who took part inside the commercial. And lastly, though we were told not to feel obligated to thank Mr. Adcock, how could we not? Thank you, Mr. Adcock, for all that you've done this year, and thank you for being such an amazing teacher. Without this class, many of us would not have this passion for TV and film. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just thank you to Warren for doing a big part of the commercial, and uh, Courtney as well, so that's all. Thank you, this is such an honor, and thank you, Mr. Atcock. Here to present our seniors Izzy Wendell and Ben Mahaffey.
think we ever got the chance to do documentaries our level two year. I don't think we could live up to the expectations. Here's the nominees. The nominees for best level two documentary are King of Rap, Aubrey Mulligan. Hello, I'm Jamie Mulligan. I own Rap Artist in Nashville, Tennessee. We're a large format vehicle rap shop that primarily focuses on the tour industry, tour buses, tour trailers. Golden Memories, Grace Constantine. I've traveled all over the world and I've met incredible people, highly successful people, leaders, volunteers, change makers. But still, when it comes down to Battletown, the wisdom of the people there, their giving hearts, and their unique character. I'm in awe of the place where I was raised and the things that I learned and what was really truly important in life and what really defines success. And in Battletown, Success comes from relationships and happiness and love and helping one another and acting like one unit instead of a bunch of people just living together. Um, they really do have the spirit of a village and a big community, a common unity, and that is Battletown. Journey of Being Heard, Liza Jackson. You have to step up and, and compete. Hi, my name is Jason Krupek. I played in bands, and then I was in the music industry for 19 years. I was in three different bands. Ladies and gentlemen, Pantera. And we were great. We, we got to play a lot more gigs than they did and lasted a lot longer than they did. My name's Joshua Mack. I'm a Nashville native. My band is Natchez Tracers. Three things I talk about in life. If you want something or need some help from someone, just ask them. The worst they can do is say no. It'd be kind of my recommendation to young artists that are coming up. And the winner is King of Rap, Aubrey Mulliken. Thank you, Mr. Adcock. Uh, this is crazy. Um, thank you. <laughs> Level two is when music videos actually become good. There's a lot of competition for this one. Here's the nominees. The nominees for best level two music video are Big Cloud, Linnea Dubay. Psychic City, Liza Jackson.
Hennessy, Ryan Zarneski, Maya Ingle, Anna Kate Soares. It's not just geography, it's a part of me. Psychic City, Liza Jackson. Hi, um, I just want to say thank you for choosing my music video, and I really could not have done it without my boyfriend Ty and my best friend Sparks, who are acting in the video. They always help my ideas come to life, and I really would not be able to do this without them all the time. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Adcock puts a lot of pressure on the news. I wonder why. Here's the nominees. The nominees for Best Level 2 News Package are Ginger Gilbert Ravella, Courtney Stanley, Ashlyn Witt. Ginger Gilbert Ravella fondly remembers her late husband, Iraq war hero, Troy Gilbert. So it was, you know, a long road <laughs> for our family, and we love the military. When Ginger was raising money for a charity that helps the children of fallen soldiers, country singer Lee Bryce attended and sang his song, I Drive Your Truck. A year later, Ginger and her family were invited to the ACM Party for a Cause concert to accept a check towards one of her charities. However, her current husband and Lee Bryce surprised her with Troy's truck. I think that he's, you know, going to bring one of those big checks and we're going to take a picture and that's going to be it. And uh, all of a sudden he starts telling me, you know, I've never forgotten about our conversation last summer and uh, that you wish that you had Troy's truck back. And I just wanted you to know that uh, we found it. Kevin Whalen, Grace Constantine. Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Whalen enjoys hunting and shooting his bow. He also likes to spend time with his wife and four daughters. He is a military-trained anesthesiologist. Waylon was on active duty for 10 years, took a three-year break, and has spent the past 10 and a half years in the Army Reserves. One of the hardest parts is being away from his family. I left in January of 2003 when Hallie, my oldest, who's 19 now, she was uh, right at two. For 13 months, I didn't get to see Hallie at all. I came home, and the second day that I'm home, She's not used to me. She's getting used to me, but she rises up and she's mouthing and getting in trouble. And I said, I put her in the corner. And I said, We're not gonna, you're not going to talk to me like that or your mom. Gavin Walker, Warren Kaufman, Davis Smith. After serving four years in the Army, Gavin Walker now spends much of his time in the ring. Um, I do a number of everything. I uh, run a fight ministry. I'm also a Team uh, USA's World Heavyweight Kickboxing Champion, back-to-back um, -back national champion, world champion. I was supposed to go to the Olympics this year, but obviously COVID came. Yeah, I love, uh, obviously fighting, um, mm -hmm. shooting guns. It's probably my favorite thing. Um, I'm a nerd, so I like anime. Yeah. I love, uh, I like video games too. Just don't have a lot of time to play them. Lifting weights, working out. Um, I work at Title Boxing as a trainer and a personal trainer outside of Title as well. While in the infantry, Gavin rose to the rank of corporal and specialist first class. Um, I was the infantry, so I was a grunt man, and uh, the infantry pr is frontline combat. And the winner is Ginger Gilbert Ravella, Courtney Stanley, and Ashlyn Witt. Thank you to Ginger Gilbert Ravella for sharing her story. 
And shout out to Mr. Adcock for helping us with quite balance. Thank you. <laughs>
I ran out of jokes. The Revenge Game. Aubrey Mulligan, Grace Constantine. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, no, my girlfriend won't find out. Yeah, Saturday. Take it home. Maya Engel, Liza Jackson. It's like almost after five. We have to go. Um, are you guys sure this is safe? I mean, that's what Google Maps does. It's like right over there. God, nobody's gonna get hurt. We don't need band-aids. And there's no waivers. Let's just go get spook, you know? Okay, You're gonna get see. so scared. It's gonna be so funny. dedication. There was a decoration in there for like $30. That's a load out of the wallet. But that doesn't take from the fact that it was an on-fire trash can regardless of money. I'm with Liza on this one. Um, well, I'll probably just like fell asleep or something. I don't know, maybe like a cloud. It's probably nothing. I have to check it. Somehow left behind Strange symbols on the floor gas can? No, Taryn, I don't have an extra gas can. Oh, stop. No, like, come on, guys. Like, I promise. When he died. And the winner is The Revenge Game by Grace Constantine and Aubrey Mulliken. and everybody who was in this film. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adcock, again, and thank you, Aubrey, for being my partner. Thank you. Future interns. Six returning and six new ones. I've been 
trapped in this room for two days now working on this stop motion. If I misplace one item, I'm gonna punch a hole through the wall. I'm almost there. Just a few more pictures and I'll be done. Finally, I'm done. Now it's just time to check the footage. have enough entries to even have this category. But this year, we have some amazing entries. Here are the nominees. The nominees for best level three and four animation are How to Take Care of a Camera, Cole Lampkin. Drowsy Chaperone Trailer, Cole Lampkin. Cutter Thumb Buster, Keaton Hardwick. And the winner is Toe Cutter Thumb Buster, Keaton Hardwick. like to thank uh, Mr. Adcock, of course, uh, and my parents. Um, there was also, I don't, I don't remember her name, there was this old lady that lived in my neighborhood and she gave me all the magazines. So thank you, you. <laughs> uh, you know, I, a, a wise man once said, uh, by the name of DeBaby, he said, he said something special. He said, let's go. <laughs> now, and, that, and, that's, <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go. So thank you. And Cole, I think, I think your video was better, to be honest. So good job, Cole.
Here to present our seniors, Colin Kadoof and Macy Grubbs. This year, the animations were so good that one of them became a music video. But I don't think the people who actually made music videos were quite happy with that. Here are your nominees. The nominees for Best Level 3 and 4 Music Video are Dear Anxiety, Chad Barker, Macy Grubbs. I've spent my whole life trying to run from that feeling, that feeling of being lonely, that feeling of being lost, that feeling of being sick when the lights turn off, that feeling of being depressed, that feeling of being anxious, that feeling of screaming to God, begging Him to take this, only to get silence in return. I'd lay in that bed crying and I'd toss and I'd turn and I'd turn and I'd toss to this day. The doctors gave me medication, the pastor said pray. I tried both and this anxiety still hasn't gone away. So forgive me if I fantasize about being gone today. I'm an actor who got really good at being on today. But when I turn off, I go right back into the shadows. I'm in the deep end now, but I started in the shallows. And I might just drown myself in these waves. Suburban hell, these homes are all graves. Everyone's coping with something but won't admit it. They're all too afraid. For my grandfather, Macy Grubbs. At 18, turned my helmet in. I walked to the 50 yard line. Just to coach and me after we lost 18 to 9. And I cried, man, next time to get in here, I'll have to buy a ticket. Can't you give me five more minutes? Time goes by. Elwinger, Ben Mahaffey, Robin Neiman. Buster, Keaton Hardwick. Winner is Toe Cutter Thumbbuster, Keaton Hardwick. this is super fair but uh, you know as a wise man by the name of the baby once said you know he said something really powerful he said let's go <laughs> and and you know you know I mean I think that's something to live by so thank you and I think swinging Lynn deserved to win but I don't know good job Luke About time you showed up.
newscasts. Seniors versus juniors. The ultimate news battle. Here are the two nominees. The nominees for best level three and four newscast are level three, six period level three news team. Viewer complaints led to changes for the Charlie Brown holiday specials. I'll take this little tree home and decorate it, and I'll show them it really will work in our play. Apple TV bought the rights to It's a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and other Charlie Brown specials earlier this year. That meant for the first time since 1966, they wouldn't air on network TV. Well, after a flood of emails, Apple worked out a deal with PBS to air them commercial free. They will also stream on Apple. I love those shows. Glad they'll still be free on TV. Thanks for joining us for this holiday edition of WBHS 9 News. We leave you with music from the Brentwood High Choir and its holiday concert. Have a great Christmas break. Level 4, 7th period, Level 4 news team. Coming up next on WBHS 9 News, the widow of the first Brentwood policeman killed in the line of duty talks about her loss and the community's loss. From waiters to CEOs, millions of Americans lost their jobs during COVID, and even the happiest place on earth wasn't immune to the layoffs. And it's the biggest comeback of all. For a coach many thought might never step on the court again, the news starts now. Hello, Brentwood High School. I'm Ben Mahaffey. And I'm Oliver Brogdon. Here's what's making news. It's an event that rocked the city of Brentwood and the entire community. On June 18th, Brentwood police officer Destin Legazo was killed in a head-on collision by a drunk driver. Channel 9's Ethan Meadows talks with Legazo's widow, chief, and fellow officers. And the winner is... Level 3 newscast, Chad Barker, Macy Grubbs, Braden Thaney, Louis Chater, Nathan Zonerich, and Alex Ludbetter. Amazing. This is the highlight of my senior year right here. And I guys, I want you all to watch me on Fox News soon. Thank you. From the technical department, we'd like to thank everyone who, Ms. Mr. Chad and Miss Macy for being patient with us and through our ups and downs. We've had a good year. I'd just like to thank my anchors, Chad and Macy, and then Nathan and Alex as reporters. They did a great job. I want to thank Alex and then our, our news team to help us make great projects. I want to thank Nathan and Mr. Adcock. <laughs> uh, this is my first Madison Award. I'd like to thank, of course, Mr. Adcock, uh, my parents, uh, my mom, my dad, my brothers, Joe and Ryan. Uh, I'm dedicating this one to my grandfather who passed away about uh, about two weeks, a little under two weeks ago. He always loved uh, when I came over and showed him the newscast and all my video projects here. So this one's for you, Papa Tom. currently on the site where Ronnie Adcock was allegedly hanging out with very underdressed students. I interviewed one of the distraught victims. So, um, I, sorry, I, I don't want to say your name, but how does it feel to be in the same presence as Ronnie with such minimal clothing? We were forced to... I'm sorry, this light's very bright. <laughs> we were forced to fan and provide Ronnie with drinks. 
And the fan wasn't even a real fan. It was just a lid to a crate. If I'm gonna fan someone, I just want a real fan at least. It was horrible. I kind of liked it a little bit. Wow. That must have been really hard. We already have the results for the newscast. But let's see which packages made them great. Here are your nominees. The nominees for best level three and four news packages are Behind the Bench, Chad Barker. A few weeks ago, the Brentwood High School football team took on one of the best teams in the state, Oakland High School. It takes a lot of work to pull these games off every week. I talked with someone who plays a big role in keeping our players ready for game day. But first, let's see how we got here. Brentwood High School senior Laurel Lorman is in her second year of being the student athletic trainer for the Brentwood High football team. So how did you get into this? How did you get into working with the football team? How did you kind of get into all that? I saw posters on the wall at the high school that they needed a new one because the girls were seniors and I was a junior, so I was like, okay, let's give this a try. So I went to go talk to Coach Kane. He introduced me to the girls and I just got going with it and the rest is history. Disney layoffs. Robin Neiman, Izzy Wendell, Stuart Beaton. The epic blockbuster Gladiator won five Academy Awards in 2000, including Best Picture. The music in the film was produced in part by Todd Holm, who worked for Disney. Holm also worked on other well-known films, such as Saving Private Ryan, Catch Me If You Can, Almost Famous, and Ron Burgundy. I have been a music uh, executive producer and line producer of music for 30 years. I work in the film business for about 15 years with Disney and DreamWorks. And the last 10 years, I've been an executive music producer for Disney Imagineering. While he hasn't gotten the virus, COVID-19 has had a huge impact on Todd Holmes' life. He is Puffy Muffin, Eliza Lenny. It's been a really challenging year. I call it unprecedented times, and everybody else would too. Um, we've had to adapt and change multiple times throughout this process. Puffy Muffin is one of the most popular locally owned restaurants in Brentwood. In addition to the dining room, it also offers catering and a bakery. But since COVID-19 hit in March, owner Christy Stone has had to make some big changes. In the early days when we had to shut the dining room down and um, we weren't having as much traffic in here, we set up a market where we sold toilet paper and rice and pasta and um, bread, milk and cheese, things that people couldn't get in the stores. The bakery circumstances could have been much worse. And the winner is? Puffy Muffin, Eliza Lenny. Pretty epic. Um, thanks to my boss for letting me interview her. That was pretty cool. Go shop at the Puffy Muffin. I work there. Go buy some cookies or something. Um, thanks to Mr. Adcock. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>
even though they're delicious, they're dangerous. Watch where you step. We made a lot of solid PSAs this year. But somehow, a PSA from last year, No Click, No Ride, has been the only one to bring us home awards. Here are the PSAs that couldn't beat them out. The nominees for best level three and four PSA are, one second, Stuart Beaton, Eliza Linney, Noah True. A lot can happen in just one second. So why would you take even one second to look at your phone? Suicide Prevention, Izzy Wendell, Robin Neiman. Think before you post, Colin Kadoof, Will King. Well, thanks for your time and your application. We appreciate it. Uh, things look good. It was a good resume. Um, however, after looking online at some social media posts uh, that you have made over the last couple of years uh, with our company policies, we, we just can't hire someone that puts these types of things online. So um, I'm sorry and good luck to you in the future. This happens every single day in America due to people not watching what they post on social media. Recent studies have found that 70% of employers say they look at social media when judging job applicants, and 34% of employers have admitted to firing employees over online content. So when you post, remember, think. Is it true, helpful, important, necessary, and kind? Keep these things in mind, and always think before you post. And the winner is... One second, Stuart Beaton, Eliza Linney, and Noah True. I think I'd be up here if it weren't for these two. These guys, we made this. This is, these two. Okay, if you couldn't tell from the beginning of the uh, award ceremony, I'm not the best with words, but these two made this project amazing. I was there. Eliza's mom, thank you. We destroyed your backyard. Uh, I'm gonna leave now before I say anything else that's dumb. It's pretty epic. Um, the other PSAs were great. I think any of them could have won, but. Yay. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you uh, to Mr. Adcock. Thank you to these two. Um, uh, and thank you especially to Eliza's mom. Um, we did a lot of destruction in her garage and backyard, so thank you. Thank you. My name's Trayton Bainey, investigative reporter. I got a call a couple of days ago. Look, 
computer 19 in the horrific accident. As a reporter, I didn't do this for the money. I did it to catch this criminal, even if it means finding every last detail. Banana. As of now, we are looking at multiple prime suspects, but the investigation remains ongoing. Wait a minute. this case wide WBHS9 has had some great reporters over the years. But these guys are just mediocre. Here's the nominees. The nominees for best reporter are Chad Barker. I tried both and this anxiety still hasn't gone away. So forgive me if I fantasize about being gone today. I'm an actor who got really good at being on today. But when I turn off, I go right back into the shadows. 10 seconds remaining. Oh, the suspense. They're going to make a final push. 32. Oh, she makes it in. Oh Five, four, three, two, two one. Cochran. Brentwood wow. takes it. That was incredible. Ethan Meadows. To love someone who lets you break them twice. Thomas Day, senior at Brentwood High School, recently made his big debut on the famed America's Got Talent. Who are you? Thomas Day. I am a junior in high school in Brentwood, Tennessee. Thomas Day got to show the world what he was capable of when he was given the opportunity to perform on the popular talent show. Nathan Zonrich. The senior and just recently committed to the All American McDonald's Games, number 32, Amelia Osgood. Just this past week, senior Amelia Osgood was nominated to be on the McDonald's All American team. I spoke with her about her plans for the future and her basketball career. And here's what she had to say Amelia had 13 D1 offers and committed to Princeton University in New Jersey. So I visited almost all of the Division I. I had 13 Division I offers and I visited. Um, 12 out of the 13 that offered me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And the winner is Chad Barker. Wow. Uh, thank you so much. A uh, huge thank you to Mr. Adcock, of course, uh, my parents, my brothers Joe and Ryan. Um, I'd like to thank uh, two people in particular. Uh, they were both previous interns, uh, RJ Taylor and Mason Bergen. Um, they have taught me a lot throughout the years, especially RJ. He's taught me a lot with um, announcing and whatnot. And so, yes, I'm very excited, very honored, and uh, thank you. Thank you. 
I heard making a short film after level two is pretty challenging. But we wouldn't know anything about that. Here are your nominees. The nominees for best level three and four short film are Cornholer, Luke Elwinger, Will King, Jim Moore, Harper Thompson. Cognition. Keaton Hardwick, Eliza Lenny, Noah True. just freaked me out. Oh, great. Yeah, um, as far as I know, I'm alright. <laughs> and your winner is Precognition by Keaton Hardwick, Eliza Linney, and Noah True. should have won, obviously, obviously. Um, thanks to my dad for acting, um, and thanks to everybody else for tolerating this film. Um, I, th I think this win says a lot about society, you know? I think uh, we all know Cornholer, rest in peace. It belonged, they, they belong here, they, the corn holers. And I'd, uh, I'd like to also thank uh, Dan, Dan the man, I think you're somewhere over there. Oh, there you go. Uh, thank you for acting like you died, like twice. Uh, yeah, special thanks to Eliza's dad for acting, as well as Will and Catherine for acting. Um, and thanks to Mr. Eckhart. Hello, my name is Keaton Hardwick. I have been a banana connoisseur since the day I was born. And today, I have a very special offer for you. Every day, from the jungles of Brazil, those dirty monkeys steal our bananas. It outrages me. How does it make you feel? Well, every day, monkeys steal your God-given bananas. Back in the Vietnam War, me and my associates cut down the jungles and reclaimed the bananas for us and killed every monkey in our way. 
And now you can buy these exquisite bananas for $6.99. Are you here to buy bananas? I am here for the bananas. Sight. I lied. Let's get it before the train's ready. I can't go back. I can't go back. You're not going to split on me. Oh. Turn around. Get on your stomach. Give me that. Okay. We'll Case is solved. It all comes down to this. One final category. And one final award. Here's the nominees. The nominees for best level three and four commercial are Bushnell, Harper Thompson. Sport 850 Rangefinder. Know your distance, find your path. Icebreakers. Keaton Hardwick, Will King, Eliza Lenny. Icebreakers, unbelievably refreshing. Zoom, Luke Elwinger, Raiden Thaney, Noah True. people even when the world feels apocalyptic. And the winner is Zoom by Luke Elwinger, Braden Thaney, and Noah True. thank Rana Kumar Ganguly for being my motivational support throughout the year. And obviously, thank you to these guys. Um, I'd like to thank my group members, as well as Mr. Adcock. We actually had to do this project mostly over Zoom uh, during remote learning, and he was really flexible with us during that, so thank you. I'd like to thank uh, Noah and Luke for letting me be a part of this project. And also, you're welcome for rolling around in dirt for 15 minutes. It's 
We now take a moment to summarize this year into one video. Hey, after a one-year pause, it was, feels really, really good to be back here in the, in the BPAC and to be streaming live on YouTube. Um, I'm very proud of what we accomplished. There's been a lot of teachers, you know, y'all have heard all these stories, they're all whining about how tough a year it is, uh, but they don't have the students I do. So they've, my students have made it e easier on me. Uh, I won't say easier than years past, but they've made it easier than on a lot of other students, and I thank them for that. Uh, state champs at THSPA for the fifth year in a row, another woo-woo. Uh, we'll be getting a lot more awards this next week. Uh, Western Kentucky, Natus, and uh, MTSU Film Festivals. They'll all be released this week, so parents, be prepared for a deluge of emails. As we were going through tonight, I wanted to... Um, uh, saw a few things I need to address, a few disclaimers. In the countdown, the word was fudge. It was fudge, not what it, is, what it may have sounded like. Also, I don't, uh, I don't choose the winners. We have a panel of about 30 judges who come in on a Saturday about a month ago, watch your, your students' videos, and, uh, and chose the winners. Okay, um, yeah, we'll go through that. Oh, yeah. And one, th one other final thing, not final, one other thing I need, to, I need to reflect upon. We're obviously having some anger issues this year. We're going we're gonna to learn to take some chill pills. I mean, the, 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 the baseball bat by Will Abrahamson, the, uh, the, uh, the golf club, uh, the, the beating of the level ones. Uh, you know, it's, it, we've, we'll, uh, we'll work on that for next year. Okay. All right, before we get to the final awards, I want to recognize a few people. Uh, first and foremost is a young man who we wouldn't be here live on YouTube tonight if not for him, and we wouldn't have gotten through the school year without him. That's Dakota Payne. He, he's the former head intern who live streamed all of our games we covered this year, and like I said, is streaming tonight's bo uh, broadcast. Uh, he brought his drone and his wireless camera to football games, and so Dakota, we thank you for all you did. Uh, also, a big thank you to Carolyn Neiman, who is in uh, Orlando tonight uh, with her, her daughter Robin in the cheerleader competition. But she coordinated the food and drink all year long for football and basketball games, and let me just tell you, it's such a huge help uh, taking that off my plate, and some junior intern's mom or dad will get to do that next year. You're, you lucky thing. All right, uh, I want to thank the parents. Man, when the money ran short, we spent, 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 but we didn't take, take, take. 
but when I asked you to donate, you stepped up and donated more than $3,200, and I want to—I give you a big round of applause for that, Perry. Thank you. I want to thank Joel and Lisa Williams and their company, Williams uh, and Associates. Their screen printing company provides us free t-shirts at the beginning of the year, and they have done that for eight years now. They've got to do it one more year. They want to get through this one more year. Uh, to all the interns and to the seniors, thank you for coming to school today. Parents, you may have not known this, but today was Senior Skip Day. Okay. Well, I should say all but one came. We, we were, we're missing one presenter tonight. Uh, but I told them yesterday, I said, okay, you skip. You don't get to be presenting in the Madison Awards. So thank you, seniors, for doing the right thing. I appreciate it. <laughs> and as always, a huge thank you to my wife, Diane. She hates the shout out, but she deserves it and more. So thank you, darling. Uh, now to our awards, our final awards for the most outstanding students. Uh, please come down and accept your trophy uh, as I call your names. We had a lot of really good level ones this year. You heard the names Isabella, Sydney, Kyle, David, Wyatt, and Will called multiple times tonight. But the student who provided the most calming influence, the maturity, and the creativity to his class is our level one student of the year, and that's Owen Coulomb. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you again to Mr. Adcock and to uh, my parents who are watching the live stream right now. And so, yeah, thank you. All right, on to level two. I saw the promise last year, but this year's winner came on very, very strong this year. Her do documentary on Battletown, Kentucky was outstanding. Uh, so was her Veterans Day project. And she's such a sweet girl. Gosh, she's so nice. Grace Costantine is the level two student of the year. Mr. Adcock again and to my parents and my sister and my grandparents who are all watching on the live stream. Thank you. Our level three top student is going to have to get a bigger trophy case. He's won multiple Madison Awards over, the, over each of the past three years. He won level one student of the year. He won level two student of the year. The trophy company said I'll make you, we'll make you a deal if you'll name him uh, Student of the Year again. So I did. Noah True. <laughs> and while Noah's coming down here to accept this, I do want to say Noah will be head intern for next year. Thank you. Um, I want to thank uh, Mr. Adcock, of course, uh, as well as my parents and my girlfriend, Audrey. Um, they have supported me so much uh, through this past year. Um, I also want to thank uh, the intern group from this past year. They've made it an amazing year, uh, despite all the problems that we've had with COVID. Um, and I have no doubt that next year is going to be amazing as well. Uh, so it's such an honor to be given this position and this award. Um, so let's make it a good year next year.
Our next award goes to a young man who literally grew up before my very eyes. Not to say he was immature for the past year, past three years. He was. Uh, he'll admit it. Okay. Who else sticks a paper clip into an electrical outlet on camera? Okay. But this year was different. He took the reins of overseeing all of our sports production. He worked with the news team to make sure we had great newscasts. He literally went from computer to computer, person to person, uh, and helping people, offering his assistance. Congratulations to Stuart Beaton, our Level 4 Student of the Year. Hey, everybody. Didn't think I'd be up here tonight, but if I haven't given you a thanks, these four years have been probably some of the best years I've ever had in my life. You've made it amazing. You've been one of the best mentors I've ever had. You've helped me go from a boy to a man. Not, not to make it weird, but you've been there for me, and I'm very thankful to call you broadcasting teacher and probably the one of the most influential people in my life. I look forward to going to this field, and I will always remember you. Thank you, Mr. Adcock. And our final award of the evening goes to a young man who worked more after school shoots than anyone in the program this year. He always signed up when someone dropped out. And a lot of people had to drop out because of COVID and contract tracing and drop out at the last, at the last second. He too is just a very, very nice guy. Faith, I don't know where you are, but you did a great job raising your son. The hardest worker award goes to Colin Kadoof. Man, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what to say. Uh, I just want to thank Mr. Adcock and everything he's done for us these past four years. And just want to thank my mom, who uh, encouraged me to get into this um, field. And uh, yeah, thank you. While the interns come forward, I do have one more uh, award. Uh, Nathan Zonerich, we didn't, we lost your, uh, lost your, uh, wondering where that was. Rounded up under there. We just wanted to take a second here to acknowledge everything Mr. Atcock's done for us over these four years, but especially this year. He gives us a lot of credit, you know, for adapting this year, but we haven't had a teacher like you that's really stuck with us and maintained a sense of normalcy this year and allowed us to do so many things that we didn't think we could do. And we are beyond thankful for everything you've done for us and your leadership throughout these years. So Stuart and Colin, whenever you guys are ready, uh, <laughs> got a little gift for you. We assumed since you were uh, retiring soon, you might need a new hobby. Excellent. Couple things. The thing inside it are eight hundred and forty dollars, all donated by a broadcasting student. <laughs> and on the inside <laughs> each container contains the name of a senior intern. So every time you look at my container, you're gonna put the really shrimpy, skinny little ones in this one. <laughs> we also got you a new fishing rod. There's a line in there. Everything you need to have a relaxing summer this year, after this crap year. Thank you. Thank you very much. And photo of the intern class. Excellent. It's a wonderful, wonderful gift. I promise you, it, I will not wait to next year, retirement year, to uh, to use it. It'll be used uh, maybe tomorrow while Diane's giving a shower. All right, okay. So thank you for joining us live and online for the 14th Annual Madison Awards. Hopefully next year, all parents and family members will be able to join us here in the BPAC. Again, that, this will be my final year, or that will be my final year. 
Retirement is now just 40 school weeks away. Not that I'm counting, but I am. <laughs> Parents, please come down and say hello. I didn't get a chance to uh, talk to you. And also introduce yourself, because I hadn't seen you guys in a couple of years. Parents, tell me who you are. And in the words of a wise man, Keaton Hardwick once said, let's go. Right. Good night. All right, clean up time. <laughs>